What's up, everybody? Welcome in, and thank you for stopping by for another DC Multiverse review. This one is going to be over Superman, and I thought this was a really cool classic-looking Superman, and that actually worked out because I seen him on the peg. Those were my thoughts, and then what is he? He is Superman, DC classic. So that's obviously why he fits the bill as that classic-looking Superman. Really cool looking figure. I really liked this one. We just got Superman on the side of the box there. As we flip it around on the back, we've got that really sweet cartoon picture of Superman carrying Lois Lane. You know, just awesome. Awesome, iconic artwork that just, it looks like Superman. It's just, I love it. This, this is Superman and I think it's great. So I normally am into more of the darker versions of the figures. As you guys know, if you've seen any of the previous videos, I like a little bit more of a grittier style figure. But when I saw this guy, I was just like, oh, he's he's cool. I've got to get him. I've got to check him out. So here he is. We're going to go ahead and get him pulled out of the box and take a closer look. Alright, let's see how is Superman. All right. Bottom joint's pretty bendy. Let's check the ankles, pretty good. Good swivel, toes, toes. Double jointed knee, both joints working. Waist, good. Party boy, good back and forth good arms all the way around biceps tight but there bicep cuts look like they're there just very tight this side's not as tight this side there it goes breaking in a little bit there double jointed elbows ball joint for the wrist there, it will articulate back and forth as well as all the way around. And now what is always the scary part for me? The head. All right, looks pretty good. Looks down good, looks up good, looks left, looks right, turns all the way around. All right, we got a good head on this guy. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can get him to stand up on his own. Sometimes with the extra weight of that cape on the back, it's hard. All right, so there he is. Let's get his figure stand put together here, his flight stand, and then we'll take a little bit closer look. And here's Superman doing what Superman does, taking right on off, flying through the sky. The figure stand works out really well for this guy. Uh, because of how easy he is to pose and how easy his joints are to move around, you can get him in some really cool poses that look like he's flying, taking off. Um, and then the, the stand will allow for you to kind of angle it different ways. I believe you can even tilt it backwards possibly. So there's different ways that you can make him look like he's flying at different angles if you want to get him more horizontal. Um, and then the way that it's kind of holding the cape back doesn't really bother me because it looks like the wind is kind of, you know, blowing it back. So it just adds to the effect. So I feel like this figure stand is a score. I like it a lot. I know that they're cheap and they're kind of flimsy. He does get some wobble going on, but 
as he's sitting on your shelf and stuff, it's not really going to do that. It's not going to be such a big deal. He does come with the uh, classic peg down here if you wanted to take the flight part off and you just want to have him standing up. You can do that as well. But I feel like he looks cool in the flight position, so I'm probably going to keep mine posed up like this. I'm really, really liking this guy. Uh, as far as his accessories, if you don't want to have the fists in, he does come with like an open-palmed... Just drop that bad boy. He does come with a couple open hands here. Good sculpt on those. You can see the detail in the fingernails. You can see the lines in the palms and in the in the knuckles. Really good sculpts on there. And then here we have like a completely open in case you want to have him flying. So possibly I like the fists when he's flying, like taking off. But then maybe once he's in full flight, the uh, open palms would be cool to put on there. And again, just really good detail, really good sculpting on these. Go ahead and move those to the side. Also in the box, it came with this Superman DC Classic card. So this is just going to tell a little bit about him. And it's got the same artwork that there was on the back of the box, which you guys already know I like that. So it's cool to have this card. If you're going to pitch the box, then butterfingers today. If you're going to pitch the box, but you liked the artwork, you still have a representation of it on the card. And then on the back of the card, I'll try to take a picture or zoom in on this so that you can see it better. Real name, Cal L. Clark Kent. Superman is the world's greatest hero. He is a tireless champion dedicated to protecting life and battling injustice, not only in his city of Metropolis, but also all over his adopted world and across the universe. With his fantastic powers and abilities fueled by his alien cells, which hyper-efficiently process the solar energy of Earth's yellow sun, Superman is an unstoppable force for good and steadfast punisher of evil. Superman is a founding member of the Justice League and an inspiration to countless other heroes, continuing into the 31st century and beyond. So, really cool little backstory. If you've seen my video before, you know that I use these. Uh, if you haven't, these little plastic card holders that you can get for like baseball cards, Pokemon cards, stuff like that. You can find them in that section in Walmart, Target, or just like a, a card store. Uh, they're really good for keeping your card protected. Keeps it from getting dog ears, creases, uh, stain spills, anything like that. And I really have enjoyed keeping them in here. Um, I do keep all of the cards, so... I feel like that's a really good way to keep it safe, and we probably wouldn't display it with Superman like that, but um, as all in all, I think this is a really good package, really good deal, um, even at the standard price, if you didn't find this guy on sale, um, and he is regular price in your area, I, I fully think that he's worth it. He's a really fun character, really nice colors to him, cool little, cool, cool little uh, flight stand with him, he doesn't just come with the black circular figure stand. So I'm really happy with everything that we get in this package. As far as comparisons, the only other two Supermans that I've got unboxed right now are the Superman from the Dark Knight's Death Metal, which is this guy here on the left. The roof, the review for him is up on the channel. He's part of the um, Build-A-Figure set. So he comes with Batman, Wonder Woman, Robin, and then you will complete Dark Father, which I think you can see him up there in the back. Right there would be Dark Father. Those figures complete him, which he is an awesome character. Um, absolutely love that whole set of uh, Build-A-Figure characters, which again, that's the Dark Knight's Death Metal set. Really enjoyed that one. And then this Superman over here is from Batman The Dark Knight Returns. I really liked this Superman. He's bigger. He's beefy. Um, he's not as thin as this guy, as you can tell. He's got this kind of a, a weird face sculpt. Um, I'm really liking this one. So I, this was the first one I got, and actually his head broke off when I went to do the review initially. So I had to go take that guy back, buy another one, or exchange him. 
and uh, we tried it again and his head was stiff, but it, it actually does, you know, articulate all the ways that it's supposed to. The difference between these three, and I guess another reason, even he's the lighter shade of blue, but another reason that I'm really liking the middle Superman is the, the addition of the flight stand. I just think that's a really cool thing to throw in the box, as well as he's got just a clear figure stand if you didn't want to use the flight stand. So I just think that it's awesome when they throw in stuff like that. These two Supermen did not come with a flight stand. They just came with this black circular disc, which it works to... It, it absolutely works to stand them up, but if you want to get them in, in a flying pose or something like that, the flight stand, I feel like, is a, is a really good option, and I love it when they throw those in the boxes. We've got those with a couple different figures. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these guys out of the frame, and we're going to go over our final thoughts on Superman, and then we'll see you next time. All right, so as you guys probably already know, if anyone's still here for this portion of the video, because... You've heard my thoughts throughout the whole thing. The final thoughts are going to be the same as the thoughts have been. He's an awesome figure. He's a great bang for your buck in my opinion. Um, I like the light blue because the other two Supermen that I have have the dark blue. And I thought this was definitely good to contrast with those guys. Um, I love the little curl coming down his face. And <laughs> the flight stand is a little bit weak in the arm, but it's still it works, man. And I feel like it's... Uh, it's a cool addition to have with him and i'm gonna i'm gonna say this guy is definitely gonna be obviously one of my top three superman action figures because he's the only three that i've unboxed so i would say right now he's definitely in first place as far as the superman action figures from dc that i have currently unboxed so he's first place I would definitely have to put this guy in my second place position since I still have him here. And then right now we would rank this guy in third place. Cool action figure, cool line. Not the weakest figure in the line, um, but I like my Superman with a cape. But you got to know the whole story. You got to read the, the um, Dark Knight's death metal story really to know what's going on with him and why he has kind of a dark seed arm and it's a really cool story i did um get into that comic so that also made getting this line all the much more cooler so thank you guys for watching if you can hit that like button subscribe to the channel turn the notifications on tell someone you love them god bless you and i'll see you in the next one